Um, again, I apologize for the way I talk. I know I take a few long pauses and don't say enough and don't explain things. And just that my, in fact, that most of the time my voice gets really annoying. I am trying to work on that. Again, it's just the way I've talked my whole life, so. That's one of my plans with this lunch space that will help me start talking a little bit better to where you can actually watch my videos and not get bored by my uh, horrible speaking. Alright, 15 arrows. And I understand that I didn't explain that quest. That quest, all you're doing is just looking for those little, little parts on the ground and just picking them up. Not that's all that quest is about. Alright, now, my favorite quest in this whole game. Grand Theft Pal Palomino. This is all you have to do. Um, after you kill anything that targets you. Now, I know I said in the last episode that there's, um, oh crap, that, uh, you get out of this place at about, um, level 58, but there's no set level that you have to leave. Um, most people stay in this area and just kill these Scarlet Infantrymen and other, uh, creatures here until you get, um, until you get to about level 60. Um, I don't, I just go on straight to Northrend. Or not Northwind, uh, Outlands at the time. And from there, work on, um, start working on the quest. But mainly the reason why people do that is because when you get to Outlands, uh, there's not much that you can do. And bye bye, horsey. You can't do the dungeons because you're not high enough level. So, people. But there is no set level. You can even leave this place at level 56 if you're, for some reason, you don't get enough experience points to level up more than one level. But there is no set level. I've just always left here at 58, so that's why I said level 58. Alright, well, I'm turning in uh, If Chaos Drive, so let's read what he says. Do you feel it, Miliardo? The sensation is, so, is raw power coursing through your body. Such a thing cannot exist for mortals. The front lines are now dismantled. The Geist will, fi will finish the job and prepare the grounds for Rivalus. We turn our attention now to more tactical targets. Alright, let's see. Alright, and I got this item. I don't think I need to be working much for agility for uh, the Death Knight. So, both of these makes me lose 6 agility. So, I'm going to go ahead and take off the um, Plague Band. Alright. I need a target. And I can now select my Death Knight specialization. And I'm going to do Unholy. And for Unholy you get the Scourge Strike, which deals which is another DOT ability. And pretty much all this is an attack and it hits a it gives them a plague which damages their health for a certain amount of time. I get Master of Ghouls, I can it, uh lower the amount of time it takes for my my summon goals to cool down unholy might it increases my strength by five percent and reaping which pretty much whenever I use a, a, a plague that would take one of my runes I get a death rune which activates as a regular blood frost or unholy which this is blood runes, these are frost runes, and these are unholy runes. 
I only have two of each, so that means I can only do two of my two of each type of attacks. Eat um uh I can only use one of the three types of attack two times each. So I'm doing unholy. And what should I put my two talents on? Alright, I'm going to do Epidemic and go ahead and give two points into it. So that that's going to increase two of my um, plagues. And I'm going to learn those two. And I'm walking, 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 and there's the quest giver. Okay, let's see what you have to say. The trajectory, the trajectories they are firing at, at would have most of the arrows land at or near the Havenshire farm south of us. Well done, Death Knight. You feed the Scourge War Machine with your deeds. Ah, yes, your reward, as promised. Um. Ooh, what should I get? Um, they all do the same thing. They just increase different resistance. So, ooh, what do I honestly need? I'm going to, since I'm an unholy death knight. I'm gonna go ahead and get this dark shroud, dark shroud of the unholy. with it, wherever it is. Oh, God, I have a little too much stuff here. There you are. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm easily amused when it comes to Death Knights. I just count. I like their armor in the beginning. And after that, they get the same armor as everyone else, so it doesn't look as good. Alright. Grand Theft Palomino. Alright. Now for the true test. Can you show mastery over an unbound charger and brutally overtake the thing that you desired most? <sighs> the horse you stole has been taken to the realm of shadows. It is there that my dark rider will slay the beast and raise it as a death charger. Do you think yourself brave enough to enter the realm of shadows in pursuit of the death charger? If you accept, I will transport you to the shadow world. Once there, seek out the seek out a death rider in the world in the open field south of us to emerge victorious you must slay him overtake his death charger and return it to death's breach issue the horseman's call should you succeed all right and here we go first before i do all this go down here to unholy And where should what do I need? What do I need? Uh death grip, they strike. Scourge strike. There you are. I'll bring you down there. Sorry about that, I was just make, looking at some things, seeing if I had more things to put down here. Um, in this quest, all I'm serious, all I honestly have to do, um, okay, you're not one of the things I have to kill. Um, right here, oh okay, god, he disappeared, um, uh, if I didn't get attacked right there, okay, there he is. That dark right that dark rider right there, um, I think he's the only one here. Other than these sh nope, there's more. But all I have to do is just Oh no, you know what? Let me target this one. All I have to do is just target one of these. Battle him. And win. Oh, that's no fair. Ok, 
Okay, I swear if I win this, I'm gonna be so impressed. Okay, screw it. Get on. Oh god. Yep, I died because I got triple team. Oh no! I survived! Holy crap! I cannot believe I just survived that. Alright, here we go. And I just get on his after I kill the Death Rider. And you only need to kill one, not two, like I did. Um, you just bring them back up here. Um, I normally wait till I get about right here, but just anytime you get back onto here, um, activate Horseman's Call. Creepy guy with an axe appears in front of you and says, Impressive Death Knight, return to me in the world of the living for your reward. <coughs> Sorry about that. And here we go. You have succeeded you have succeeded where most initiates fail, Miliardo. For that you will be rewarded handsomely. Sell on our bows. And I just leveled up. Alright, since I now have more um talent points. Go put one more and finish off my epidemic and then right here in virulence I'm gonna put in the last two I have and what that does is it increases uh, the damage done by my diseases which is really good if you're gonna be unholy which focus focuses heavily on your disease. Alright and Mounts my Acarius Death Charger. It's going right there. Bring him up. And he looks so cool right here. Yes, I love the Death Chargers. Just gonna gallop around here. Uh, gonna go up to see my class trainer, actually. Oh, yeah. That would kind of hit getting on that. I'm actually going to come up here. I'm going to go see my class trainer. And I have unmail re unread mail. You told you I have no idea who my class trainer is. So I'm just probably going to run right here until I find him. Uh, the Lynch King is not going to be my class trainer. That would be, that would be an epic class trainer, though. Uh, he's not my class trainer either. None of those are. There you are. The really, really creepy looking person is my class trainer. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? And I am out of money to request, so, or get... Uh, ability so I'm gonna go on to or head on back down to the front lines No, 
I see no mailbox, so I'm gonna check out what that letter is later. And I'm going to cut the video off here. So thank you guys for watching. This was Alec, and this was another World of Warcraft Death Knight Let's Play. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.